you were blackmailing Sandy so that she would seduce Cliff. Who has filled you with that rubbish? Never mind. All this time, I really believed that you had changed toward Cliff. And there you were trying to ruin our daughter's marriage. If Cliff is interested in Sandy, it's his own lust. I had nothing to do with it. You had everything to do with it. And this time I am leaving you for good. Daisy. Sloan has got the car in the driveway. Daisy. And Daisy, I'm Daisy, you cannot go on me like that. You cannot. Talk to me. Daisy. I'm out of here. Out of here. Daisy. Daisy. Andrew. Andrew. Get yourself down here. Yeah? What's wrong? Andrew. Daisy just left me. Now, has anything happened around here unusual today that would upset her? Any, any visitors? Uh, well, the, the Dr. Warner stopped by. Oh, oh, I, was... I might have known. I might have known. What's going on? You wouldn't want the rest of the hospital to hear what I have no, to say to you. No, I'm not sure I want to hear it either. Oh, you will hear, and you'll pay some serious attention. This time, you really have gone too far. Okay, spit it out. What's on your mind? You've done your damnedest to break up my marriage. It's quite a joke coming from you. Because of you, Daisy's packed her bags and she's left the house. Look, if Daisy's left you, I think you're responsible. You went sneaking around behind my back and you filled her full of pack of lies about me supposedly using Sandy? Let's get this straight. I didn't sneak around anywhere. I went to Cortland Manor to look for you. When I found out you weren't there, I told Daisy everything that happened. Because you see, her daughter is your victim too. There wasn't one ounce of truth in what Don't you said. Don't push it, Palmer. Sandy told me the truth. And the truth is you took a decent, honest girl who was trying to straighten her life out and threatened to send her back to jail if she didn't ruin my family. It's a new low, Palmer, even for you. I lost my daughter because of you, and now I've lost my wife. Well, I'm here to warn you. I'll have my revenge. I will destroy your life just as you have tried to destroy mine. Fine. And I'm warning you. You get out of here now. Or I'm going to do with you what I've wanted to do with you for six years. Get out. luggage in the bedroom? Uh, no, it's okay. You could just leave it there. I'm so sorry this had to happen. I only wish your mother could be here with you. Well, it's okay. It's better if she's with Bobby. Well, I'm sure she'll get here as soon as she can. Yeah. I'll manage. <laughs> uh, you know what you could do for me, though? You could, um... See if you can corral the kitty kitties and bring them over. I'll do it today. ruin everything. Yeah, uh, who is it? Me. I'm not letting you in. Well, I'm not going away until you do. Surely you're not afraid to talk to me. No, I'm not afraid of you. Well, I'm not going to let you sweet-talk me out of this. Don't turn me away, Daisy. I need you. Okay. Don't think you're going to warm your way out of this whole thing, you know, because you're not. You're just... Uh, you're such a Jekyll and Hyde. No, I'm one man. Daisy, and the best part of them really belongs to you. And the other is, well, he's 
bent and, 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 he, and he's very selfish and it makes me do terrible things and I always feel so guilty you never felt guilty in your whole life Daisy I tried so hard to make Nina happy and I failed and then Cliff came along and he succeeded where I couldn't and I have hated him so for that. And I'm still trying to get him out of my life. You're admitting that you did do that. You blackmailed that girl to seduce Cliff. Oh, Daisy. Well, I was desperate when I took Nina to Oak Haven and I... It was like I was burying her, and I was really out of my mind with grief, and... I just behaved like a madman again, and I... Well... I did terrible things, and... And, of course, again, I'm... I, I regret it with all my heart. Now I've lost you. I tell you, Daisy, if I have to go back to that big house all by myself, and I've, I just don't have anything to live for. Calls tonight. I really want to be able to give him some good news. Well, I'm afraid that there have been no great breakthroughs. Oh. Now, keep in mind, now, this man has been through really traumatic surgery, and his vital signs are very strong and very steady. That's a good sign. He's a strong man. Yeah. How are you and Ross doing? Oh, well, we're hanging in there. You know, we have a, a new foster child with us now named Julie. She's 15, and she is absolutely wonderful, and I think we're very lucky to have her. Oh, that's great. She's probably starting a new school year. How's she yeah. doing? Uh... That's been a little problematic for her, but uh, she doesn't have a lot of the, the, the self-confidence that is necessary at this point in her life. But I think that comes from a, you know, you know doesn't have a good, strong family background. Yeah. We're working on that problem. Good, <laughs> good. Listen, I didn't know if she'd be interested in babysitting, but I may have some work for her. Wonderful. Oh, she's excellent with children. She really is. She took care of them at that placement center. I'll ask her about that today. Okay, well, I pay top wages. <laughs> and she can raid my refrigerator anytime she wants. <laughs> then she will definitely be there. <laughs> okay, great. Enough about my family. How's Nina? Uh, no big news on Nina. Oh. Well, nothing, though. Palmer has hired a B&E specialist who's had great success with patients like Nina, so we're very optimistic. Daisy, I need you. Really, I, I can't live without you. I, I can't. I can't uh, live with a man I can't trust. Daisy, listen, I, I promise you one thing. I'll do everything I can to make you happy. You can't do that if you are making Nina unhappy. I, I won't. I promise. I, I won't do anything about Nina, anything, until I... I've talked to you, and I, I promise you, I, I'll listen to everything you say. Daisy, really, you are the best part of my life. Don't let it end this way. I never wanted it to end. You see, you're my only chance, Daisy. I'll try. But I'm warning you, if you ever pull anything again like you tried to do with Sandy, I really will leave you, and that will be forever. No, 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 it'll be just fine this time. Cynthia has promised me a quick divorce, and then we'll be back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said I'm going back with you. I did not say that we're going to get married. I'm not going to marry you until I'm convinced that you have changed. Well, it won't take 
the law. Oh, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, I thought I'd lost you. Surely you're not going to miss dinner. Oh, I forget, dear. What's on the menu? <laughs> Fresh Dover sole thrown in this morning. Oh, then you may be sure I'll be back for that. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, but before I go, I want to make my position abundantly clear. <clears throat> yes, dear. Never fear. I know exactly how you feel. I want you to think about this interfering with Tad and Hillary, and anything that you do would be counterproductive. Let them figure it out themselves. Not to worry, Nana. All right, just so it's clear. Good night, dear. See you for dinner. <laughs> he doesn't know the first thing about guiding a child to a crisis. As usual, I have to take matters into my own hands. Exactly what to do with this. No matter what Langley says, it's for Hillary's own good. Get you at home, uh, but I mean, it's it's around six o'clock Pine Valley time, isn't it? Yes, I. You see, I'm working late, but I, I thought Charles would be home. Oh, never mind you about that. Just, oh, oh heavens, no, Erica. Charles is a very responsible person. I mean, just because he's retired. Okay, all right, all right. I was just grasping at straws. Well, I had a conversation with Kantu, the uh, head of the monastery, the man who was, who was um, Jeremy's spiritual leader, and he thinks there's a very good chance that Jeremy will come back here. Erica, honey, you can't just sit there and wait, you know. Well, I can't just turn right around and leave, either. Look, I was trying to get in touch with Mark. I'm hoping to reach Mark. I'd really like him, him to come and stay with me. Oh, I haven't had a chance to tell you, sweetheart. You won't be able to reach Mark. You see, he took a job uh, playing the piano on a cruise ship. What? How could he do that? How, how could he just leave without saying goodbye to me? Well, the, the job came up so suddenly, and anyway, how could he possibly have reached you when you, when you were on your way to Tibet? I just don't believe this, Mother. I mean, everyone is deserting me. Now, that's not true. Not at all. You just hop the next plane home, and you'll, you'll find out how many people here care. Oh, 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 Dabney. Dabney's been calling all the time. Dabney? Tell Dabney that he should take care of Tempo till I get home. Erica, you aren't thinking of staying on there, are you? Well, I can't possibly think of just turning right around and leaving here, Mother. I've got to give Jeremy time to get here. But what are you talking about? Jeremy left long before you did, the minute you all got, got back from Canada. No, no, not the instant. I know that Jeremy struggled for quite a while, you know, about staying with me. Now, come on, Erica. All he did was wait until all of the details about the responsibility for Adam's condition were cleared up, and then he took right off. Jeremy had plenty of time to get to Tibet. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, not if he took the slow overland route. I mean, don't forget, Mother, I flew here every inch of the way. Well, you, you can't ignore the fact that he said goodbye to you and, and, and that he walked right out of your life, honey. No, I can't. I can't just believe that. I love him. But, but he doesn't love you. I know he says, I don't believe that either, and I can't just believe that. I mean, when we were together on that deserted island, well... Uh, sweetheart, look, I, I know that I'm your mother, and you don't really think that I know very, very much, but I know that when two people are, are facing a very dangerous situation together... I know that's exactly what Jeremy said. That's what he wants to call it, too, but that's, that's not just all it is. I mean, I just, just don't know where else he could be.